I just want to know why you chose the word misinformation. Siguro do kasi um at this age and era, everyone is on social media, mm. and I think the biggest stigmas mm. of the whole of the internet is that there are a lot of things posted on there that may seem true, that may seem na yun yung facts. Mm. So, syempre, lahat ng mga, especially the youth na um, wala pa namang guidance or wala pa namang initiative to really learn about certain things, automatically, they would go to social media and search for what answer they're looking for. And um, wala ko pagdadalawang isip do, kung ano yung mababasa nila doon, yun na yun. Yun yung papaliwalaan nila. Yun yung tama para sa kanila. And it's going to be hard to believe kung ano man yung, kung may, kung merong um, magsasabi sa kanila na hindi tama yan. Lalo na kapag sasakit. Like, ako ngayon, Dok, sa age ko, again, hindi naman ako nagsisinawaling na I really do have a fear of, you know, doctors and learning what I have in my body kapag may sakit. Automatic may isip ko, shucks, gastos na naman. Ayokong may ganong fear, yeah, Dok. Okay, so, true. We, I would tend to self-medicate or again, just search what can I do para hindi na ako gumastos, para hindi na ako pumunta sa hospital, hindi na, you know, to spare me the time of, you know, waiting for results and all that. You know, I can't believe you're only 23 years old. <laughs> and, and, and maybe you're an old soul. I, I, or maybe your mom's soul yeah. lives in you and everything that you learned uh, yes. from that experience. Um, I was just thinking, when you said uh, information, the word information um, in 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 science, uh, information technology, social media, right? We use a lot of IT information technology, where information is sometimes um, interchangeably used with the word uh, data or with the word evidence. And really, what you're promoting is evidence-based health decisions. How rampant do you think, Doc, is misinformation here in the Philippines? And how do you think does it affect our fight against breast cancer? To be honest, there's no study that has been done. As I said, we prefer to have data, yeah. right? Um, but just among the three of us, someone already received misinformation. So it's easy to conclude that it's probably quite common. Um, misinformation like patunawin mo na lang, uminog ka na lang ng gamot, na indasal mo na lang, you know, okay. pabaya mo na lang, oh, pabaya mo na lang, or ano pa ba yung common misinformation? So, we have living ka lang, magkasto healthy living ka na maayos. Sa kayo, ano yung, um, ano tawag dito? Uh, Wag mong galawin. Ah, yun. Pagagalit. Pagagalit sa oh, sales oh. mo. Parang kasalanan mo pa na pinagalaw mo. Um, sometimes I think it's just a way of explaining ba't nangyayari sa akin to? Ah, kasi baka dahil pinagalaw ko. I mean, people need to understand. But, and so sometimes you create stories. Yeah. Uh, so, and yet, sadly, they're not true stories. They're not based on evidence. They are well-meaning, and there are many family members who are, so, of course, not family, eh. so well-meaning. Um, pero kung minsan, uh, mas maganda kung mag-second opinion ko na lang, <laughs> or you know, or 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 um, do the difficult thing. It's always the knee jerk is to do the easy thing, eh. But when you know that you have to do something in a correct way, but it's difficult. It takes courage to do it, yes. to do the difficult things. Uh, and that's the reason why we need to help each other. Yeah. Kasi kung mahirap gawin, ang dali niyan, mm-hmm. mas marami kayo. Kasi kung may, may navigator ka, meron kang partner, collaborator, you know, friends, support group. So these are the things that uh, people like us who, who have been through uh, some kind of experience with cancer, 
know what helps and what doesn't help. Mm-hmm. So my sister has the had the breast cancer. So na rebob nanya yung left side. Sabi niya, alam mo ba, mas maganda ngayon modern. Kasi those, the time na siya nakikin what a variation, nafo-fall yung hair niya. Mm. This time, wala na raw falling hair ang mga gumagawa niya ngayon. Yeah, oh. So talagang... At isang dali lang, ha? Apo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi baka mag-expect yung mga ating no, breast cancer no, women. No, no, no. Uh, sad it depends, Doc. It depends. And sadly, in breast cancer, almost all the standard chemos still equals oh. hair dos. In other cancers mm-hmm. and in immunotherapy, or in in if it's just tablets, you, uh, then you will not lose your hair or thinning lang. Pero um, you're right. Hindi lahat ng breast cancer treatment um, you can keep your hair. But it's okay. You lose it. It will grow back. Yeah, but it's just very crazy. Sure. It's very different na yung, like how chemotherapy used to be done and how it is now. Oh, okay. So, that one. You can, very different yeah. na ba talaga? Yeah, that one we can reassure uh, all of those uh, women. Because I know it's really strong. It is. You know, it's poison. <laughs> it's, right. it's almost, some people get call it poison. Nagkaroon din, Doc, na some people say, kapag nakapwento namin yung stories na, yung story ng mom namin is that, baka, I don't know if it's right, but baka chemotherapy made it worse. So cor- please do correct uh, that. Is it menstrual? Is it... No, no, chemotherapy cannot... Because I don't want to be afraid of it also. Uh, uh, sure. It has to sure. be done in the future. Ask me again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you won't need to call me. But um, chemotherapy cannot make... Cannot be the cause of making the cancer that it's treating worse. Okay. It probably was going to get worse anyway, despite the attempt because not all naman cancers especially the aggressive ones will respond to treatment or to chemotherapy yung iba kahit di chemo unfortunately yesterday I had this patient um, um, pancreatic C8 is one of the more aggressive and rare fortunately rare cancers advanced stage yeah. after we uh, had um, four sessions and inulit yung PET CT lumaki Okay? So not all chemotherapy or not all cancers will respond to chemotherapy, especially kung aggressive mm. and advanced. Again, catch it early. Okay, jo. Kasi ang treatment sa early hindi necessarily chemo. Tanggalin mo lang yan kahit aggressive siya. Hindi ka hindi na siya mag-advance to the point na kakailan nga rin mo lang chemo, no? So... So, so that that is um, that is something important, no? That that we need to inform our audience. A couple last question, and I'm going to say, niyo, Doc. Um, as an oncologist, and of course, as an advocate for treating cancer, how do you think institutions and individuals alike can help in uh, the fight against cancer? Well, sa individuals like you, I don't need to answer it. Everyone knows how helpful you have been, no? Um, and it's it's really just a matter of helping others, um, learning from what you've gone through, and then wanting it not to happen to anyone else. Right? So why would you want to get you have others go through what you've gone through? Ang hirap hirap, right? So, um, and honoring your mom, for example, honoring your mom and your your relatives who've gone through it. So, how can institutions help is by uh, supporting doctors like me. <laughs> so, my institution can help me by, uh, um, by helping me do the job that I want to do, which is helping others, which is getting rid of cancer, which is better healthcare. In the healthcare industry, patients should be number one. Uh, so, so, that's what we're doing. And to everyone watching this, to all of the women and to all of the little girls, thank you for your time um, for finishing this talk of ours. I hope that you stay healthy, you watch out for yourself, and um not because you will be okay. Tayo mga babae. As long as we're 
everything will be okay. Sa mga kapwa ko babae, huwag kayong matatakot dahil there is nothing to fear. Sabi nga, as long as we're doing our best, God will do the rest. Everyone listening, um, we are sincere uh, and determined uh, here uh, at the, the Medical City Augusto P. Sarmiento Cancer Institute. Minuo ko na po. <laughs> I, I hope that if there's anyone there who, any woman who feels Uh, unloved mm. or that no one's taking care of you mm. or who feels you want to be healthy but you don't have access to health care um, or is afraid of having breast cancer um, if you feel unloved but you don't want you don't know where to go or what to do uh, come to us come here come to your doesn't have to be us go to your doctor go to your um general practitioner because that's how UHC is going to be now but have yourself seen and don't be paralyzed by fear and I'll quote my favorite uh, quotation um, and this is from Marie Curie she's a scientist she was uh, she lived in the 15th century she was also the only woman among men in the Royal Academy of Medicine or some huge scientific uh, organization Um, and she said, there's nothing in this world that's to be feared. It is only to be understood. So now is the time for us to understand more so that we will fear less. And so by people like us who are trying to get rid of misinformation and are trying to help you understand um, what's going on, what your options are, what you can do to stay healthy, um, na po kayong matakot. Uh, hindi po kayo nag-iisa. Uh, nandito po kami para po uh, maitulong, matulungan na rin po kayo sa inyong health maintenance and avoidance and prevention of cancer. Salamat po. That's the perfect way to end this video, Doc. You know, to tell them, to tell all of the women watching that you are not alone in yours. No woman is alone in this fight. Babae sa babae, magkakasama po tayo. Amen. Thank you.